Here with a new video, I gotta fix the camera a little bit, it's looking a little down. There we go. New video for you guys today. I'm trying something a little different. Um, it is almost Halloween, well, not really almost Halloween, it's almost October. One of my favorite times of the month for the fact that it's Halloween, which means scary things, <laughs> movies, stuff like that, and it's my birthday in October. It kind of works out that I'm a big fan of horror movies. So, in celebration of Halloween, what I figured I would do is a top 10 favorite, my favorite horror movies slash series. Um, there's no particular order of these said movies. Um, I'm just going to pick ones that I picked out of my collection and pick them up and show you. I'm not going to show you which one's favorite, which one's not. Um, some of them's more popular, some of them's not. Um, it's just my taste in movies. Um, some of them, I really don't like that type of genre. I just really like that movie. Um, and so on and so forth. So we'll go ahead and stop and just pick the first one. First one is House on Haunted Hill. Um, there's a sticker on this right now. Let's see if I can get that off. Um, House on Haunted Hill is an awesome movie. Um, this is the two pack. I don't like the second one, but I really like the first one. And this is the remake. I like the original one too. I'm a big classic horror fan, but I like this remake also. Um, maybe a little more than the original, I don't know. Um, I'm sure most of you guys have heard of this. Maybe not watched it, but at least heard of it. Um, like I said, it's a really good movie. It's not really a very known cast. Um, let's see, is there anyone really? Let's see who's in it. It's been a long while since I watched it. Actually, I watched it again. Um, there's not really. I can't remember actually now. But, anyways. It's a really good movie. Um, if you guys haven't seen it, you should definitely watch it. Basically, these people get invited to a party in a ha in this abandoned house. Um, it's a Halloween themed birthday party. Um, let's see. They get offered a million bucks if they can survive the night until dawn. And the the people doing the parties they're rich and famous, obviously. I don't know if they're famous, but they're rich. I think one of them runs like an amusement park or something. And a ghost messes with the invites and sends these people, these different people to invites, people they don't know. Um, and basically ghosts shut down the house. You know, they can't get out anything like that. No one can get in. And basically says I'm trying to survive. Not even for the money at this point, just to not die. <laughs> um, so like I said, really good movie. Um, next is... I feel like I'm probably going to start shit about this, but is Child's Play, or Chucky, whatever you want to call it. Um, this is the entire collection. Now, there's certain ones I really like and certain ones I do not like. Um, I like the original three Child's Play. Those are probably the best ones, in my opinion. They're the original ones, you know. Like, obviously, it's supposed to be kind of comedy-like, too. I mean, it's a killer doll. But those three, they kind of kept it more serious. And then you get into, like, Bride of Chucky and Sea of Chucky, which I really did not like. I just thought it was kind of dumb. Um, and then they came out with, a couple years back, The C Curse of Chucky. Um, and that one kind of went back to the original Child Plays type of movie, so that was really cool. Um, I'm not even going to explain this movie because everyone knows what this is. Um, next, it's going to be Alien. There's a sticker on this, let's see if I can get it off. I always forget to take the stickers off until I see the movie and it bugs crap out of me. Um, you guys haven't seen the movie yet. But it's Alien. Um, not Aliens, not Alien Resurrection. Um, I mean, I do like those two. Um, but my favorite is just, there we go, that's good enough. It's just Alien. Just straight up the first one, Alien. Great movie, another movie I'm not really going to explain, because um, everyone should at least heard of it. But this is the Blu-ray edition. Um, like I said, this is an amazing movie. The other ones aren't bad either, Alien vs. Predator, those are pretty good too. Um, Predator would be on this list. Um, but surprisingly, even though I have all these movies, I don't have Predator. And I'm not sure why. I have a few of the Alien vs. Predators, stuff like that. But I don't have Alien. Or I don't have Predator. Um, next is kind of a... Probably an unknown, on, I would say. I don't think a lot of people know who this is, but this is the Puppet Master. Um, this is the collection. This is all of them, but like one, I think. And this is made by Full Moon Productions, which makes really obscure movies. I think they made a... Uh, what was it called? Uh, Evil Bong. Um, 
There was a Ginger Killer Ginger Man, I can't remember what it was called, but it's about Killer Ginger Man. Um, Killjoy, which is a clown movie. They just make great, weird movies. And I loved this series, even when I was little. I don't know why. It's so horribly made. Um, but there's something about it. I can't remember when it started. I don't think it says. Uh, I think it says when it first started, but it was in like the 80s, I think. And uh, it's just a really odd movie. I'm not going to go and explain. I don't even know how to begin on that. But it's one of those kind of like cult cult classic movies, which is really cool. I love it. Um, next, is actually interesting for me because I'm not a big fan of these movies, is The Haunting in Connecticut. Now, I really don't like the ghost movies, the possession movies. I've never been a big fan of them, especially nowadays. That's all you see in scary movies. But something about this movie, the way they did it, was just very creative. It was a lot different than most of them. Like in this, you actually had a good spirit that was trying to save the family. And, um... The fact that the kid that's got cancer and the ghost become one, and it's, it's just really, really cool and well made. I really like this. So if you guys haven't watched it and you're into these movies, definitely pick that up and watch it. Um, next is a series, and that is, like I said, some of these people are going to know, some of them are not, and everyone should know this. Um, and this is Nightmare on Elm Street. <clears throat> now, I love these movies. Um, my sister is a big fan of it, too. She don't like me scary movies, but she loves Freddy. And some of these movies is just amazing. Um, there are some I don't like. Like, this is only the four movie collection. I have the other ones. Um, but I can't think which ones right now I don't like. I know I like these for the first four. Dream Warriors and Dream Masters are a really good one. Um, which is the third and fourth, fourth one. Uh, the remake was god-awful. If you haven't watched it, don't waste your time. Um, like I said, really good movie. Very... As you can't tell, I kind of like the comedy horror, too. Um like Chucky, Puppet Master, stuff like that. And that's what this also is. I mean, there's some comedy in it. Not the first one. The first one was pretty dark. Um, but as he went on, he actually started joking around, stuff like that. Um, next, which is... I love zombie movies. But this one's a horrible one. I don't know why I like it. It's just something about I liked it. And that's um, Day of the Dead. Um, the Need to Feed. <laughs> I don't know why I like this movie so much. There's just something about this movie I really liked. It had uh, Nick Cannon in it. Um... Vin, Vin Grains, I can't say his name right. Um, horrible graphics, or not graphics, I'm talking about a game now. Horrible uh, special effects, the zombies looked horrible. But something about it I just liked. Like I said, I don't know. It's just a really cool movie and I loved it. Um, next, which is an amazing classic. Um, the second one I also like, but I don't have it here. And that is John Carpenter's Vampires. Um, the second one, I can't remember what it's called right now, but it had, um, shit, who'd had it? Can't think of his name right. Bon Jovi. The second one had Bon, jo bon Jovi in it. It's a really good movie. Um, most of John Carpenter's movies are actually really well done. Um, and this one was just, I don't know, like I said, I like vampire movies anyways, like um, can't, Fright Night, movies like that. Um, even the remake goes alright. But I really like those kind of movies, so this was a really good movie. Um, another cult classic that everyone should know um, is. Evil Dead Army of Darkness. Now I like the first Evil Dead. Um, there's something about the Army of Darkness that's really like I actually even have this game on PlayStation. Uh, it's just Bruce Campbell, I love him. I mean he's really not that great of an actor, there's something about it, you know, you gotta love. Um, I've I've watched this the HBO show which is really good. They they definitely kept with this kind of um, type of movie and T V show. Uh, like I said, Evil Dead 1's really good. The remake's not bad, but it's definitely not this tame kind of comedy. Um, like, I mean, this is a comedy. It's a B-rated horror movie with some comedy. I mean, what else does there say about it? And you got a guy with a chainsaw hand. You know, how can you go wrong with that? Uh, and last but not least, like I said, there's no order to these movies, is Halloween. All right, now, everybody's got to like Halloween. Um, like I said, John Carpenter's just an amazing director and maker. Um, I don't know if there's any I like more than the other. Let me take a look here. I actually like H2O. A lot of people bitch by H2O. I really liked H2O, actually. Um, Resurrection was alright. And then you got the two remakes by uh, Rob Zombie, which were good. A lot more gory and dark. Um, three, no one even counts. I never understood. That was just so dumb. The Season of Witch that had nothing to do with it. Um, they, they explain why that happened. I'm not going to explain it here. If you want to know, just look up Halloween 3 Season of the Witch. Um, see the curse of Michael Myers. What's going on, you guys? Cody here. I'm um, just going to let you guys know at the end of that video, my camera cut off. I didn't know it. 
um, that was pretty much in the video that my the Halloween was my last top ten horror movies. Um, I said a few things after that, nothing really important. Um, mainly what I said is uh, some movies should have been on that list, like um, Friday the Thirteenth and stuff like that. But I wanted to make a more obscure list, some movies you guys maybe haven't heard of that you'd like to watch that might got your interest in watching that. So there were a few other movies that are in my top ten. Like I said, I just want to make that one a little different. That's pretty much it. I apologize for that video cutting at the end of it. Um, nothing I can really do about it. I already edited it and almost uploaded it when I saw it. So I'm just going to let you guys know what happened and everything's all good. That's going to be it, guys. Hope you have a great day and I'll see you later.